First you want to prep and clean up the jar. This is the technique I use when it has a sticker label, like the Nutella jar I'm using in this example. I'm just doing one jar so I'm using a pot, so not to waste water, but if you're doing several jars you can use the sink. I fill up the pot and the jar with a warm water from the tap. Not boiling hot, but warm. Put a drop of washing up liquid in the jar as well and put the lid back on. I place the jar into the pot, making sure the label part of the jar is fully submerged in the water. I then leave the jar to soak for about five minutes. After five minutes, the label should peel right off. I then wash off any glue residue on the outside of the jar. Then put the jar back into the pot. If your jar is like mine and has a sticker on the top of the lid, put the jar in upside down and leave for about another five minutes. Take the jar out. If you have a sticker like mine, remove it. Then you're going to shake the jar for about a minute. After having let it soak, the shaking should dislodge the majority of the residual contents of the inside of the jar. When you do this, make sure to do it over a sink and just pour out the dirty water. Go in and wash out any small bits left over, then rinse and leave to dry. Check your lid for some have a bit of cardboard on the top, like mine. Take that out and wash the lid for any remnants as well, and then leave to dry. Now you have a clean jar, what you do with it is up to you. These are the jars that I use in the garden exhibition video. For the first one I use acrylic paint and painted some landscapes on the jar. This next one, this side I use acrylic again and made patterns using dots. The other side I painted a layer of acrylic and used a felted pen to then draw a pattern on top. This last one I used scrap paper and made origami wish stars. You could use coloured paper to make it more interesting or fill the jar up with something else like sand art. I'm now going to show you another possible technique if you have a glass jar using acrylic and a toothpick. First you do a layer of acrylic paint. Of course, over time, acrylic paint on glass will scratch off, but this is also something you can use to your advantage. By using a toothpick, you can scratch off patterns, like in this case, inspired by my Indian heritage, I used henna flower patterns. And uh, I ended up combining the scratched off flowers with painted flowers. Scratching out the art allows you to see through the jar, which adds another dimension. But you could also paint the inside of the jar, so when you scratch off the exterior paint, it reveals another colour. You can also scratch out other things than just patterns. You can do stuff like portraits. For night time, you can light up your jars. You can use fairy lights, or if you have an LED candle, you can use blue tack and stick it upside down in the lid. Please do not use real candles in this instance, just put them in the bottom and do not put the lid on them either. And if your jars are made of plastic, do not use real candles at all. And don't leave real flames unattended. Lastly, you can put objects inside the jar and make a diorama and even paint a frame on the outside of the jar, like shown. Do not be afraid to use different shaped and sized jars, have fun with it. And there you have it, jar art.